Hi everybody and welcome to today's assembly. Um, I hope everybody is well. I've been hearing from the grown-ups in school about the children uh, who are working in their classrooms who are doing so well and, make, and keeping up with all that learning. So well done to all of you making really good progress and also about all of you at home as well who have been engaging and working on your remote learning using your computers well done to you as well many of you are doing some fantastic things and returning work so that the teachers can mark it and then set the next bit of learning for you so really good last week we sent out a survey to all the mums and dads and people at home to find out how the remote learning was going for them and I'm really pleased. It was really nice to read some of the comments and see the results that have come off that lots of you are saying how good it is and how, how well you are getting on with it. And don't forget, if you've got any problems at all, please do ring the school office because they will be able to help you. They're doing an amazing job of supporting everybody to make sure that you can get onto Microsoft Teams or Tapestry to, to use that. So this, at the end of this week, we are at our half term holiday. So that will be a really nice break for everybody who's been in, in school to have that week's break. And also for everybody who's been working from home, because it will be a week where you don't need to do your remote learning. There won't be any plan for you um, so that you get a chance to have a break. And then when we come back, we've got a couple of weeks until um, we hope that everybody will be able to come back to school. But we're still waiting that, uh, to hear that the government are going to let us do that. But we we're looking so much forward to, uh, to everybody being back in school and hopefully some little bit more normal life for everybody. So this assembly is the last one where we're going to be thinking about confidence of value for this term. So I'm just going to share my screen for you. Um, and the, uh, the value we've been thinking about is confidence over the last few weeks. That mean, it doesn't mean we forget about it when we can start back after half term, but we'll be thinking about one of our other values really then, but we'll remember the bits about confidence and how we are trying to become more confident individuals about being prepared to have a go at things that we're not sure about, about sharing our ideas and our thoughts with others, about having that belief in ourselves that, yeah, we can do it, even if things are tricky, um, and about knowing when to ask for help. But all of those bits that help us be show that we're confident individuals we're going to keep working on. And we've been thinking about those in our assemblies. But I was thinking this week, sometimes there is a danger that actually we can be overconfident. And I can remember a time where this happened to me. Many years ago, when I was much younger and fitter, I used to play rugby quite a lot, something I really enjoyed. I played for lots of different teams and in some of our teams we had lots of different players that all came together to play as a team. And one year, one of the teams I played for, it was Paul P at the time, were, uh, we had managed to do really well through the rugby season, winning most of our matches and we got into the Devon Cup final. We were the finalists. We had to play another team who uh, the, and the winners would be uh, get the trophy and would be the uh, would be the winners of the Devon Cup. The other team we were playing wasn't supposed to be as good as us. They were a couple of leagues below us. Um, and the higher up you were in the leagues was the better that your team was. And they were a little bit below us in the leagues. And we were really confident that we were going to be the winners when we played. Them. We were really confident we were going to be the ones that were got the trophy and were the cup winners. Well, when we played the match, it didn't go that way at all. The other team turned up and they played better than us. They scored more points than us. They played better individually and they played better as a team. And we couldn't understand it. 
And in the end, we lost the match. And the, everybody was so frustrated. We should have won. And the only thing I can think of was that we were just overconfident. We thought we were going to win it easily, but actually, we didn't. We were overconfident. We didn't give the other team enough respect. And that was a problem when you can be overconfident. So today I wanted to share with you a story, a story you may have heard, I'm sure some of you have, a fable that's got a special message in it. But it's about being overconfident and how sometimes being too confident cannot be a good thing. The story is about a hare and a tortoise. There was once a hare that was very, very fast and a tortoise that was very slow. The hare was so confident that he was the fastest animal around. He would be showing off all the time, zooming past the other animals, zipping this way, zooming that way. And all he is, would you, hear, you would hear him saying was, I am the master of being faster. And it used to annoy the other animals so, so much. He was so boastful. And because he was so boastful and kept showing off and telling everybody how fast he was and how great he was, the other animals didn't really get on with him that well. In fact, one of the animals said that if he ran in so fast into the river and the crocodile was going to eat him, then he probably wouldn't try and help him. Well, the tortoise, on the other hand, was much much slower and the hare was quite often quite mean to the tortoise he would whiz past the tortoise he would run circles around the tortoise he would tell the tortoise i'm the master of being faster and before the tortoise could do anything or say anything the hare would have zoomed off in the distance well the tortoise had a plan. He challenged the hare to a race. You're mad, said the other animals to him. You're mad, why would you do such a crazy thing? Challenge the hare, we all know he's fast. We know he, he's so confident and we know he boasts, but he's, and he's so fast, he's always obviously gonna beat you. But the other, but the tortoise knew that the hare was predictable and the tortoise had a plan. So one beautifully sunny warm day, the hare and the tortoise were on the starting line. It was time for the race. The whistle went and zoom, off went that hare. So quickly you couldn't see him. He was off into the distance in seconds. The tortoise looked up and started to slowly plod along at a steady pace. Well, before long, the hare was came zooming back, raced around the tortoise twice and zoomed off again. Come on, catch me up, tortoise. It was your idea to have a race. Remember, I'm the master of being faster. Ugh. The tortoise didn't let it bother him. He kept plodding on at his steady pace. Ah, the hare, being as confident as he was that he was easily going to win this race, started to feel a little bit tired. And he decided that he had time to have a little sit down and maybe even a little nap. So on the air by the side of the uh, road, he found a nice grassy mound and sat down, laid back and could feel the warm sunshine on his fur. Well, very soon that nap turned into a doze. 
And not long after that, it turned into a longer snooze. And before long, the hare was fast asleep. And the tortoise was steadily plodding on. Soon, the tortoise plodded on past the hare. And he could see the hare on the little grass bank, fast asleep. And he kept on plodding. Just as the tortoise was getting close to the finishing line, the hare woke up. Oh, big yawn, shook himself. Oh, what was it I was doing? Ah, the race! He remembered he was in a race. He zoomed up on, got up onto his feet and he zoomed off towards the finishing line. It was too late. The tortoise plodded across the finishing line to be the winner. But the hare was never allowed to forget it. The tortoise had beaten him in a race. And all because he was too boastful and too showy off and too confident. So hopefully we can learn that we need to be confident because it's a good thing to have our confidence to be able to tackle new things to be able to try things when they're tricky but we need to balance it and not be overconfident and not show off so have a great week everybody enjoy working at school or at home and your remote learning and then uh, have a super half term, a good break from the work, and then we'll look forward to seeing you the week after when we start back after half term. Take care, look after each other, and keep safe.